Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising As Crew. My name is Lucy and I work on cruise ships as most of you will know. So today we're going to go through some things that crew members hate passengers doing. So to get these answers, obviously I have some things of my own that I really don't like when passengers do but I actually went around different departments and asked a few of my colleagues what's something that you really don't like when passengers do so I've got a rather large collection of things that crew members just hate when passengers do on board cruise ships so let's get into it but before we start I just want to remind you to go over to my website and check out my career guides if you are an aspiring crew member you want to work on cruise ships everything you need to know about being a crew member getting on board your ship getting your medical packing can be found in those career guides over on cruisingascrew.com and you can also get in touch with me there as well so let's get into the video this one was a very popular one and the the thing that they hate is when passengers comment on their English. On cruise ships there's a lot of people from the Philippines, from India, from South Africa, Spain, Serbia, Ukraine. So everyone has a different first language and everyone has an accent. And it is scary going to work on a cruise ship where you have to speak English, which isn't your first language. So to make starting your cruise ship contract less scary, this may be the perfect time to brush up on your English skills or to start learning a new language to impress all your new friends when you get on board. And this is why today's video is proudly sponsored by Babbel, the number one learning app in the world with over 10 million subscribers worldwide. This is the app I use to learn Spanish and it really does make learning another language fun and easy. You can choose from over 13 different languages and my favourite thing is you can learn in easy to digest 15 minute chunks. And something else that I really love about Babbel is you can actually download the classes, which means that if we're going to have a sea day and I know the Wi-Fi is not going to be good, I can download classes ahead of time and I don't need Wi-Fi to complete them. And what's great about Babbel is universities have shown that just 21 hours on Babbel is equivalent to an entire college course. So you can pause this, click the link in the description below to get 60% off a Babbel subscription for a limited time only. And there's also a 20 day money back guarantee. So now really is a perfect time to start learning a new language with Babbel. When you're learning a language it's all about like growing your confidence so it's really really crap when you have a passenger say something bad about your English and, and I don't mean like obviously you can say oh could you repeat that please or I didn't quite understand you what was that but what crew members hate quite rightly is when passengers are like you need to learn English your English is terrible you know something to that effect because they're assholes but obviously that can set that person back weeks because then they're like oh my god now I don't want to say anything because their confidence has been shot and I always just think like the people who make comments like that are generally people who only speak one language and unfortunately it's usually English because we're assholes or like English, American, Australia like it's usually people who speak English as a first language and to be honest I'm I'm saying this knowing that none of you guys watching this video would ever say something like that because you're all wonderful people um, but just to bring it to your attention as if you couldn't have guessed it's something that crew members hate you know when passengers say something mean about their language ability about their English ability because they probably already feel a little bit insecure about it so it's not nice when someone pushes that button one of my pet peeves is when you greet someone say hello welcome to the shop I hope you're well or j just hello and you get completely ignored I can I get it I understand why they're ignoring me they obviously want to shop in peace they don't want to be spoken to they don't want me to help them shop at all that is absolutely fine I get the hint um, but it would be nice if there was like a hello or a a nod even I could I could deal with a nod um, but just to get completely blanked is always just a little bit disrespectful and it's just not nice it's just it makes you 
kind of be like, oh god, why do I even bother greeting these people? Well, it's ridiculous because most of the time I say hello to people and they they say hello back and it's a nice interaction. Whether in the shops, whether in a restaurant, whether just around the cruise ship, I really hate it. Or whether I'm off the cruise ship and I'm just greeting someone who also works on the ship or a passenger or anybody. I just hate it when you get completely ignored. Um, so yeah, that is one of my pet peeves. So if you are going on a cruise ship and a crew member greets you and says hello, you don't have to get into a full-blown conversation with them, but it is nice just to give them a little bit of acknowledgement, just a hello or even a head nod. Um, yeah, just try not to completely blank people who are trying to be friendly towards you. So one that was talked about quite a lot was actually cultural stereotyping. I'll give you an example. So I actually was um, privy to this one. So I was stood outside the shop with my friend from Colombia and a sailor came up to her and like they, you know we, we all the three of us like got into a conversation and thought, oh where are you from so England Colombia and then she asked my Colombian friend she was like oh you done cocaine do you like cocaine I bet you get some great cocaine my friend had never ever 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 touched drugs just not her thing but like I was just like oh my god I cannot believe you asked that because she said she was from Colombia. You know, it's just a bit, it's just a bit insensitive. So just be careful when you are like asking your questions. Like obviously it's fine to ask people about the country that they're from, but try not to stereotype a person. I know it's difficult, you know, cultural stereotypes are there for a reason. If you're gonna make a stereotype, just just think about it before you say it and make sure it's nothing that's gonna be offensive. Because it works the same both ways. Like there's a lot of American sailors on this ship and I know that like Americans get really upset when there's the stereotype of like, oh, all Americans are dumb. So, and it would just, it, it would be awful for me to talk to all Americans as though they were idiots and uh, which I don't obviously <laughs> you can't you can't talk to all Colombians like they're drug dealers you can't talk to do you know what I'm trying to say so just be careful when you are conveying with someone and you're talking about their country because um, although you might not find something offensive they might find it offensive I hope that makes sense and again I'm sure that you guys wouldn't do this because you are wonderful people um, but it happens it happens a lot so when talking to housekeeping and stewardesses the thing that I got overwhelmingly was we hate it when the cabins are left like messy they were like our because our job is to clean not to tidy it's fine when there's a few like a few t-shirts left on the bed or you know that it's a little bit there's a little bit of clutter and stuff but like some cabins you go in it's like it's crazy to think that they're only on board for five days because the amount of shit that's everywhere it's and they're like how are we supposed to clean the cabin successfully if there's stuff everywhere and they were like well we have to spend time moving the stuff but if we're gonna move let's say there's like a heap of clothes on the bed they're like but we can't just like move the heap of clothes on the floor we have to fold the clothes that's not their job but it wouldn't look good if they just moved the heap of clothes on the floor do you know what i'm saying so just be mindful you know when you are on a cruise ship and you're staying in your cabin the housekeeper's job is to clean and sanitize your cabin it's not to tidy up your mess so just you know just bear that in mind a little bit of clutter absolutely fine everyone has a little bit of clutter but don't be a complete slob because no one likes a slob when passengers flirt with you and think that they have a chance with you just because you are a crew member now this one i know you're all thinking this is like one that came from a woman twice this came from two two guys two crew members 
And it was funny because I was asking them, I was like, oh, what's, what's something you hate passengers doing? And they were both like big stocky guys and they were like sexual harassment. Drunk women are very persistent. They're very touchy feely. And you know, they're, they're, they basically want to get in our pants. So he was just saying it's really annoying when, you know, you're just trying to do your job. Obviously you have to be friendly, um, but it's, it's hard when they take it another way and they think that they have a chance with you just because you're a sexy crew member. And you know, it's a little bit forbidden, so it's exciting. But I have noticed that women are actually worse for this than men because can you imagine if like there was a female waitress can you imagine if a guy was like feeling her bum and had his hands all over her back while she was doing her job? But women feel that they can be touchy-feely with men and there's no real consequences. It's just the world we live in. And especially if there's like a big group of ladies that come on for a cruise, they're all a bit drunk, they all think it's, you know, hilarious to be flirting with the sexy barman or the, I don't know, the sexy waiter. Uh, but just be mindful, like, he might not want that attention or, you know, the verbal attention is fine, but he might not want his bum groped by five ladies. He might have a wife or he, he might just not want it, you know? Entitlement and no manners, I mean, obviously this goes without saying. By some people, crew members often get treated like they're not people. Like, it doesn't take anything to just say, hi, how are you? Can you please tell me where I can find this? Or can you please help me with this? Like it just, it doesn't take anything, but it happens so much that like, either a passenger will come into my shop or go to a bar or go anywhere around the ship and just walk in, see a crew member and be like, I need this. It's just rude. And I think with manners, it the reason it annoys me so much and annoys crew members so much is because it doesn't take anything to just say please or thank you or hey how you doing or like sometimes when I'm stood outside my shop someone will just walk past me and go toilet and then they're asking for the toilet but it's there's just by adding a few more words to your sentence it makes all the difference you're like hi I'm sorry can you just tell me where the toilet is or please can you direct me to the toilet Toilets, toilets, toilets. It's like, there's no need for it because it's so easy to just be polite, especially when you're on vacation. Who's unhappy on vacation? Going into an area of the cruise ship just as it is about to close. Um, this happens particularly with bars, also restaurants, also the shops and you know various other places, the casino. So a passenger will go to the bar and want to order a drink or go into a restaurant and want to order something just as they're cleaning up and obviously for the crew members it is super annoying when you have just cleaned everything down and someone comes in and wants something and you can't really turn them down so something I would suggest if you are a passenger just be like aware you know, if you see that you're the last person sat in the restaurant or you see that some of the shutters are closed on some of the shops or the casino are taking away the chips, then maybe that's not the best time to go and play or go and shop or whatever. So just be mindful of your surroundings. Bragging is a big one. Um, people love to brag and I, all I would say about bragging is know your audience. Um, I always find it really cringy when like, you'll see a really wealthy passenger bragging about their new car or what that's, you know, 50,000 pounds or whatever. The person they're bragging to is from an impoverished country or could only dream about getting close to that sort of stuff, let alone owning it himself or herself. So again, when it comes to bragging, to be honest, just don't do it. No one likes anyone who brags, but also just be mindful of who you're bragging to. Like brag to people who are on a similar level to you. Don't brag about your new Mercedes Benz. 
to a crew member who is working every hour God sends just so they can send enough money home to support their five family members. Um, know your audience, be self-aware. And the last one is again one of my personal pet peeves. People leave trash everywhere. It's like people come on board a cruise ship and they forget how to use a trash can or a bin as the UK call it. Um, there's just trash everywhere and I don't mean empty glasses like I you know I, I mean empty crisp packets and wrappers and it's just left on the floor left for somebody else to pick up and on a cruise ship there are bins or trash cans everywhere it's really not hard to find a bin um, but like I said for some reason people get on board a cruise ship and they just forget how to use a trash can and they there's just trash left everywhere and it's just a shame and it really pisses me off so whenever we go on a cruise ship we must remember to use the trash cans provided for us but anyway guys those are the 10 things that crew members hate passengers doing when they are on board a cruise ship if you are a crew member and you have something that you hate you can leave it in the comments so we can all see it um, if you are a passenger and you disagree with some of these things you can also let us know in the comments and maybe we can start a discussion um, but yeah I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video